What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the legacy of Daniel Cormier. What is the legacy of Daniel Cormier? He loses a trilogy fight to Stipe Miocic. In his rivalries, he's one and two, I guess you could say, because he did beat Rumble Johnson twice. He won that rivalry. And then he loses to John Jones, and then obviously one of them was overturned to a no contest. Moves up to the heavyweight division after becoming the champion while John Jones was absent, and he wins the heavyweight belt against Stipe, and then loses two fights to him. So obviously disappointing that he wasn't able to win this trilogy. But what happens to his legacy? Is he not thought of as one of the greatest of all time? I think he absolutely is still one of the greatest of all time. Now, obviously, the loss to Stipe hinders his claim to say, I am one of the greatest or I am the greatest heavyweight of all time. He isn't. But how many guys are top three, top four of all time? That's an amazing feat. Daniel Cormier is one of the greatest fighters to ever fight in MMA, especially in the octagon. I think Daniel Cormier has to be considered in that top five, top ten greatest fighters of all time. I mean... In the light heavyweight division, to me, he's the number two of all time. In the heavyweight division, I would say he's around four for me. I'll have him at four. I will I will say him and Cain Velasquez are kind of, of toss-up, and then Fedor is still in the mix, and Stipe, obviously, tied with Fedor at number one would be my opinion, as you guys probably saw in my video talking about that. But Daniel Cormier is a, a top four great heavyweight, a top two great light heavyweight there's no reason he wouldn't be considered one of the greatest mixed martial artists to ever walk the planet um i mean the loss was devastating as i was poked and that's not really a valid excuse and this here's why i mean he poked steep a2 and obviously his eyes blind it, it is but he showed that he has the heart to continue but i didn't think he was winning that fight even before he got poked in the eye i thought this was steep a's night but you know what hopefully daniel cormier can swallow this sour pill of defeat and keep pushing his commentary career because he's an amazing analyst he's a great i love listening to daniel cormier speak and talk about fights i love seeing him fight as well but i believe it's time for fighting has come i think that he really should call it a career and, and go through with what he said of retiring because i think you know that's the right move for daniel cormier spend time with your family Come commentate the fights, run your show with Ariel Hawani, but there's no reason to continue to get in the octagon and get punched in the face and the body and poked in the eye and crazy shit. I don't know, hopefully his eye's okay and recovers to full vision because you don't want to see a terrible case like uh, Michael Bisbing's where he loses an eye from fist fighting. I don't think he will. I, I do hope that Cormier will be okay, but it just shows that MMA is a very dangerous game and this is no Cinderella story. Daniel Cormier had all the making to win this fight and he is the greatest heavyweight of all time and second greatest light heavyweight of all time and hey you know he's right he, forget about the john jones but now we got to kind of remember too the john jones fight it shows that how great dc is almost these losses to me show how good dc really was he lost to john jones in a hard fought de de decision excuse me in his first time and then he loses by knockout the second but he was caught by a big shot it was a competitive fight stipe beats him loses the rematch by knockout and then loses the decision looks better than he did in that first loss to Stipe I mean he goes out as a top name a top five fighter of all time a legend of this sport Daniel Cormier will not be forgotten anytime soon but I will say if there's one fight that I will always believe would draw him back he said something he said in the post-fight interview I only want to fight for a belt I don't see a belt on the horizon but I think he's wrong there. I think that there's interest, I do, in the light heavyweight title being defended against Daniel Cormier. John Jones, Daniel Cormier 3. I think it's a possibility. I know Dana White doesn't want Daniel to retire, especially after this one, when that John Jones fight will always be there. It doesn't matter how many losses DC takes. That, that These losses are to championship guys. And I think John Jones and him as a third time, I don't really want to see it, to be 100%. As a fan of DC, I don't really want to see it happen. But... I think it's a possibility. I don't think it, it's good for DC. I mean, it definitely will be better if he drops to 205. His lighter moves better, maybe. But I do think that's a terrible matchup again, especially losing now two straight, taking a lot of damage, aging. He's 41. He'll be probably 42 if they do that fight. I don't know. We'll see. I think the UFC will push for it. I do believe so. But I don't know if it'll happen. Hopefully, DC stands firm, retires, and enjoys his commentary gig and his show with Ariel Hawani. And he will forever be remembered in the history books as one of the greats to ever do it. Definitely almost a Mount Rushmore level fighter. I mean, for combat sports, without a doubt, combat athlete, elite level wrestler, Olympian, 
MMA champion in two weight classes. Special. Daniel Cormier is so special. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Also, guys, follow my social medias, Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you all in the next video. Let's <laughs> go.